hey my loved ones welcome back to my channel so today i am going to make the cabbage soup for my cabbage soup diet um there's a lot of recipes here on the yt but i think i'm going to make uh, my own recipe because i know a lot of people have been saying that this cabbage soup could be bland to where you're going to be so sick and tired of eating it so i'm going to use vegetables that is in the original recipe plus i'm going to add some of my additional own vegetables to the recipe it is vegetables um and a couple of my own seasonings so i'm going to show you what i am going to use to create my cabbage soup for my cabbage soup diet okay so i have two heads of cabbage i think i'm only going to use one um head of cabbage i have some celery some green beans this is not called in the recipe but i'm going to add green beans to mine a jalapeno this is not in the recipe but i'm adding to mine some um, carrots, mushrooms, this is not added in the recipe, but it is gonna go into mine. Um, some fresh garlic, some diced tomatoes. Um, I have some bell pepper and onion over here. I'm going to use some kosher salt, some black pepper, basil. I have no oregano. The original recipe calls for oregano. I don't have oregano so I'm going to use my body of complete seasoning which has oregano in it and some red pepper flakes. So I'm going to go ahead and get these vegetables chopped up so you guys can see how I make my cabbage soup. Okay so stay tuned. Okay so are y'all ready? Okay so first we're going to go ahead and turn the stove on to medium high. I do not like the taste of olive oil. The recipe um, wants you to use two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm making two servings, which one uh, recipe uh, serves. It lasts three days. I'm going to make the recipe to last six. So I'm going to add four tablespoons of vegetable oil because I do not like olive oil so I'm thinking that's about four tablespoons. I'm gonna go ahead and let that heat up a little bit and then I'm going to add the onions, celery, bell pepper, jalapeno, and carrots. Go ahead. So these are my vegetables, the celery, the onion, jalapeno, and celery. Go ahead and stir that around. And I'm using one pot because I don't want to dirty up any dishes. And this is a stock pot. I don't know how many ounces it is or cups or liters or gallons and none of that. So I usually cook my cabbage in or my soups or my chili. But I want to make sure it is big enough to hold all of this soup. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let the vegetables get tender. And I'm also going to add the carrots right now since these are probably going to take the longest to get soft. And these are some big old carrots. Okay, so I think that's about enough. And I could just munch on the rest of those on my vegetable day. Okay, so we're gonna let these get tender and then we're gonna add the garlic. Okay, so they look a little more tender than what they were. They're going to get softer once you start boiling it with the cabbage. I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. I'm going to add two large tablespoons of this. Because like I told you, a lot of people say this soup is very bland. And that's something that I don't want because I don't want to quit. Okay, so... Go ahead and stir in the garlic. Okay, 
that I wish I did like olive oil, but I do not like the aftertaste. I like to use olive oil on my salads with um, sea salt and pepper and lemon, but like to cook with, I don't, I don't like that taste. So I don't use it to cook with, but let's all have nothing else. Okay, so now we're going to add the cabbage. No, we're going to add the broth. So, like I said, I'm making two servings. So this is eight ounces of chicken broth. And I made the broth myself. I didn't buy the can, the low sodium, or nothing like that. I just used some water in my chicken bouillon. Okay, so we're gonna add the tomatoes and cabbage. Nope, sorry, it's looking blurry. And the cabbage is gonna cook down to a little bit of nothing. Okay, and I'm also gonna add my additional vegetables that is not in the recipe, but I want this soup to be hearty and I'm making it to my liking. You can add any vegetables that you like that aren't, that is not a starchy vegetable. So I'm adding green beans and mushrooms. And I think I might add some more carrots. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomatoes. some green beans but I think I want to snap the green beans you know like your mama used to make you do make you snap the green the ends off of the green beans I'm just snapping them in half because they're pretty long and they need to fit in my containers for work so I don't know if this diet requires you to use fresh fresh vegetables, the frozen or the canned, but I'm just gonna try to be safe and use all fresh. Um, I didn't buy anything frozen, even though I could have bought the bell peppers and the onions and the carrots frozen and the green beans, but I think this is the healthiest way. So hopefully it comes out good and hopefully I could get through this diet without no hesitations, without no disruptions, without no temptations, you know, all that good jazz. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to do one more little handful and then I'm going to add some more carrots as well. some big old carrots I know that much so I should get real full off of this this soup so I'm gonna turn it up to high for right now and then I'll turn it down to low once it starts um, wiltering down a little okay so I'm gonna add my mushrooms I'm only going to use half of this container of mushrooms because um, on my steak day, I'm going to use some of these mushrooms. I'll probably make like a stir fry with these leftover mushrooms, green beans, and carrots. But let me see if that's enough mushrooms. 
Okay, so this is my first time making this soup, you guys. But I think it's gonna be really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings right now. I'm going to add some kosher salt. And I'm not using my garlic salt and my um garlic, I mean my seasoning salt, my garlic salt. Not this recipe. I got some basil. Some black pepper. Some body of complete seasoning. a little bit of red pepper flakes because I'm not sure how spicy it is going to be especially since I added some jalapeno okay so I'm just keep checking it but the recipe requires you to cook until the cabbage is tender Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let that cook down. Okay, the soup is done. So now I'm going to go ahead and prep my meal for tomorrow and for the next day. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so I have six 18 ounce containers. You could get these from Stater Brothers, Walmart, anywhere. They're just the Ziploc containers. You could even go to the 99 cent store and find them for 99 cents. So I'm just going to go ahead and ladle me some soup in all these containers with some juice, just like so. Do one more. Now I'm going to let these cool down before I even put them in the refrigerator. And it looks so good. And I did not taste it because I just ate and I do not want to get too tired of the soup by trying to eat it today. I tasted a little bit while it was cooking. It's not my fact. Let me go ahead and taste it. That's good. Tastes super healthy though. Since there ain't no meat in it, no bacon, no nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish later on my soup. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Don't forget to please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section and I try to answer them as soon as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up my fruit and all that so I can get ready for the work week. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.